Welcome back everybody. Today, I'm going to show you something kind of cool. This. It is a sweet molcajete, also known as a mortar. And these are the pestles. And you're going to see this handy tool come up in some of our videos, so I thought I'd show you how to cure and season this molcajete the right way. Before you use this mortar and pestle, the first thing you're going to do is rinse it off with some cool water. The number one rule when using a mortar and pestle made out of stone is to never ever, ever use soap. So with a brand new sponge that's never seen a drop of soap, we're going to scrub our molcajete down for the very first time. This is going to remove any loose rock or dirt and get it ready for the curing process. So after we've thoroughly scrubbed it down and rinsed it down really well, it's time to let it dry. So we're going to place our mortar and pestle right in front of a window in direct sunlight and in the next 15 to 30 minutes, it'll be dry and ready for the next step. And in this step, we're going to cure our mortar and pestle. So to cure our mortar and pestle, we're going to add some uncooked rice, about a third of a cup. Next, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of kosher salt. And now the fun begins. We're going to begin grinding our rice and salt mixture. Using circular motions, ensuring that every square inch of the inside of this mortar sees some pestle action. Once you grind everything into a fine floury consistency, you might notice little black specks. That is completely normal and part of the curing process. Repeat this process of adding rice, salt, and grinding into a powder as many times as necessary until your rice flour comes out clean with no grit or particles of dirt in it. This process can be laborious, but at least you only have to do it once and you're going to get some awesome practice using your brand new molcajete. Our rice flour is completely clean, there's no specks of grit or dirt in it, and it's time to rinse off with some cool water. Now that we're done curing our mortar and pestle, let's dry it so that we can begin the seasoning process. To season this mortar and pestle, start by adding some fresh garlic cloves into the mortar. Next, tamp it down with your pestle as it's gonna make it a whole lot easier when you begin grinding. Grind your fresh garlic for about 30 seconds into the basin of your mortar. We're now gonna add some salt. I'm using some rock Himalayan pink salt. I'm gonna come back with a little bit of some cumin seed and to take it up a notch, we're gonna add some telecherry peppercorn. The peppercorn and cumin seed are totally optional. Tamp down your whole spices so they don't fly out all over the place when you begin grinding. And as soon as you have all your spices tamped down and broken up, begin the grinding process. You're going to want to make sure that you grind all of that garlic, salt, pepper, and cumin, or whatever spices you chose to use, into that mortar, covering the bottom, the sides, and basically every square inch of the inside of that mortar. Once finished, you should be properly exhausted. Let's take our molcajete, our mortar and pestle, and give it one final rinse with some cool water. You're gonna notice that the inside of your mortar is a lot smoother than when you first started. And the more you use this mortar, the more smooth it's gonna become. Place it in a nice, warm, sunny area so that it can dry, and you have officially cured and seasoned your mortar and pestle. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. If you'd like any information on the mortar and pestle that I'm using, check out the link in the description box below. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you're new to this channel, we'd like to say welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. We post new videos each week. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.